recording has commenced for a new week more geoguessing. You know this is Monday, so that means we're doing another state. We are now past the H's into the I's, and there are so many I states that this is going to take us a while. But here we are starting with the first I state, Idaho. Now, as I hit start challenge, I will tell you, I've never been here. I don't know anything really about Idaho at all. So I'm going to give you my knowledge of Idaho, my um, thoughts and everything I've heard having to do with Idaho. But other than that, you know, you're not going to get any firsthand knowledge of visiting this place. Idaho is a part of, in the northwest of the United States, its capital is Boise. Um, it's just kind of this in-between land that I've very much associated with. We have U.S. land. We have to make states out of something. I don't know, Montana's too big and Wyoming's too square, so we're going to keep it that way. Fuck it. Just fill this space with a state. And this is how Idaho was made. Um, it was, according to Wikipedia, part of the Oregon Territory, and it was disputed with the British, who, at the time, and I guess kind of still are, having uh, control over Canada, and they're like, hey, this is our land, and the U.S. was like, no, it's ours too, so they decided, let's, let's sign a paper, the Oregon Treaty of 1846. But the separate, actual territory of Idaho was not organized until 1863 and instead included for periods in Oregon and Washington territories. It was eventually admitted to the United States on July 3rd, 1890, becoming the 43rd state, uh, which is interesting. <laughs> um, what else do I know about Idaho? Um, the name itself actually doesn't mean anything. Uh, let's see. I'm going to look at this real quick. Uh, let's see, eccentric lobbyist, his name was George M. Willing, suggested it be named Idaho, and he said it was a Shoshone language term meaning sun comes from the mountains, or gem of the mountains, and then later he kind of said, yeah, yeah I'm j I just made that up. Um, so, kind of just the name built on false, pre false pretense. Um, uh, if you don't know... A lot of Americans, it's Idaho potatoes. It's like the potato state, strangely enough. Uh, I mean, its nickname is um, the gem state, I believe. Although it really should just be potato state. All right, finally, we do have a highway, which we're over here then. We're on 15. Let's zoom out a smidge, and I'm going to hit home because I want to see what that exit sign said. We have a ranch exit. So that doesn't help me at all <clears throat> um it's kind of split up into a couple of different areas you've got mountain stuff up here and like the top chunk of idaho actually shares the time zone with washington which is pacific time or west time pacific time zone and the rest is mountain time zone it's it's weird um <clears throat> Sorry, I'm clearing my throat. Idaho itself is the biggest city, and for a long time, it was one of those like up and coming places. And you're kind of like, oh shit, everyone's like uh, moving there. Part housing is cheap. It's kind of got a tech boom going. Apparently, it's home to the largest Department of Energy facility called the Idaho National Laboratory. Um, it's Rent was super cheap. Everyone's like, hey, this, this is the city on the up and up. If you were looking to get into a location that maybe had good jobs, uh, cheap rent in the middle of the city, it was the time to get in. But now it's kind of come across the issue. A lot of the, I did put a place down. I did okay. It's kind of come across a lot of the same issues that most other cities have where the land value Okay, it was way up farther north. It's, nope, I don't care about that. Land value has gotten extremely uh, expensive. Rent's gone super high. No one can afford to live in the state anymore. It's kind of a microcosm of a lot of different places in the U.S. where, hey, property value's high. Uh, let's have rent equal the property tax value. we got to make some money off of this. You know, if we're going to have real estate, we 
got to be able to make money off of it because that's how business works. But the problem is everyone who's living there is like, hey, we can't afford this. And everyone's fucked. So there's just, these are very profit, like potentially profitable buildings. But if no one's living in there, how profitable are they? But even if they do live in there and they try to do like, okay, you can't pay Coco Lala. Interesting. You can't pay that much rent, so we can't make much money off it, so everyone's screwed. It's kind of a shitty situation, I guess. Wolf people, huh? Uh, Riverstone. That doesn't tell me anything. I gotta cough a bit. Excuse me. Sorry. Uh, anything else about Idaho? Uh, if you know anything about American football... I mean, there's no actual professional football team or any sports team in Idaho itself. For a short stint in the late 90s, early 2000s, the college football team, Boise State, were kind of popular. And they were kind of distinctive because their stadium, their grass or astroturf, was actually just very bright blue, which... Seemed real weird compared to everywhere else, but also since you're using artificial turf, why don't you just make it whatever color you want? Because it kind of makes sense, but everyone was just used to making AstroTurf be green. They decided to buck the trend and went with blue. And I don't know if any other place actually has multicolored green or multicolored grass that's or AstroTurf that's different from green or the blue. Because if you think about like Let's do ours yellow. That would just be such an eyesore to stare at, especially if you're uh, showing it on TV. No one's going to want to look at it. I have no idea where the fuck this is. I'm not seeing any actual distinguishing signs anywhere to let me know anything. I mean, we saw Lake Coco Lala, and this is probably, yeah, Lake Coco Lala, uh, Coco Lala Creek, whatever it's called. Let's do this then. There's a couple of lakes around. I'm going to look for Bear Lake. The name, Snake River. Oh, it's a reservoir. Okay, so that's a bit of a dam or something. I don't know if I'm actually going to see the name of this place in time. Salmon Falls, May Place, Cedar Creek. A lot of reservoirs here. Whoa, what happened to my camera? That just threw me for a loop. Probably Cascade Lake or something here. Lake Cascade, yep. Shit. As I said, I'm going to get a very bad score this time. Give me Coco Lala, goddammit. It's a river, isn't it? Yeah. 30 seconds. Man. Twin Lakes. Hauser Lake. Where the fuck is this place? Um, I gotta make a decision, and I'm not seeing anything unless it's this. It's not. Shit, fuck, damn. A bit mountainous, but again, a lot of this place is. That's the Snake River. Um, I'll say here. I ran out of time. God. Mm. Yeah, that's what I get. I'm trying to be cute. So I've guaranteed this is going to be the worst score I'm ever going to get on any GeoGuessr because I try to be cute. I'm mad. But learn from my mistakes. Just put a place down. It's like the fourth or fifth time that's actually happened, and I get very salty about it. Other things to know about Idaho. Well, I'm already all upset and. Pouty, let's uh, talk about other North Idaho Road sketchy things that happen in the this region of um, uh, the Northwest. There is, uh, it's probably not like huge, but it still kind of exists. Like separatists, you could say, kind of like a militia. Um, there's some other better words to describe what they are, but they're kind of just like 
people who feel the need to not maybe not so much break off, but kind of make their own state and or country because they feel the U.S. is going to shit. Ooh, that actually might tell me where we are. Let me see this cop. I need to do amazingly well in the next couple of guesses here to actually make up for the potential loss of something Valley Police. Spokane Valley? Yeah, Spokane Valley. Okay, so Spokane's here. We're going to be in Spokane Valley. So that means we're probably on Route 53. And he's across state lines. Interesting enough. <clears throat> or he's just out for a joyride in a cop car. I don't know. But there's it's it's an interesting type of person that lives up. It's stereotyping again, but the people in that... You could read about this. I think he's a senator. In Washington, although I probably should save that for Washington itself, so I think I will. Oh, we've got city of Rathdrum. Rathdrum. So actually, yeah, we were on 53 here. I want to see if I can see what the name of this road is, because I need to make up points. Bad. Hanu Road. Let's look for Hanu. Okay, we were there, so... I'm going to hit home and see how far away we are from an actual intersection with a road so I can potentially get 5,000 points. What's this called? Auto Solutions Fabrication. I doubt you're actually going to be. There's North Idaho Road. So maybe we're like here. Well, if that's the case, actually, I'm going to hit home. I need to see how far away we are from North Idaho. I points are very desperate right now actually we're pretty far away so north idaho's there i think maybe here if i can find st christopher's auto diagnostics that may help well kendrick's Kiefer kenworth's or whatever it's a business not showing up here see how far we are from north idaho Bates. maybe that could help me idaho is a strange place and it's just from a, a, a point of ignorance, really, that you know, I just haven't been to this part of the country. It's got a lot of mountains and shit. Uh, let's see what the tallest mountain is here. If I can find it really quick. Highest elevation is Bora Peak, which is 12,662 feet, which is 3,859 meters. That's, that's pretty high. Three points off. Still very bad. <laughs> Uh, this is, I mean, it's pretty nice landscape, though. You, you at least have to give it that, if nothing else. You know, it's a, they're, they're teaching kids now, or maybe I just didn't hear it as a child until now, that you say, if you're going to tattle on somebody, you got to say three nice things before you tattle on them. And then maybe, like I said, I was just a little upset that I decided not to actually put a marker down on round two. But... This is a very nice part of the world, at least scenery-wise. Get some real big, nice houses. Look at that porch. That's a really nice porch. Everyone's got this nice view overlooking this water with the water, the cliffs in the background. Very picturesque. I have noticed a lot of adopt the highway here in uh, Idaho. Not so much compared to other states that I've been into or actually seen doing this uh i don't exactly know the method or the point of the adopt a highway other than you see adopt a highway and then you need to put your name or the company that you work for can put their name there i don't know if it's like uh you pay for maintenance you maintain it or something or what i don't know if i've actually noticed this in any other country but also no overnight camping on public beach. So this seems to be a semi-popular area with, this seems to be a campground of some sort, but I am not seeing any signs notifying you that this is a camp. I see some really nice houses that were on that hill. So this seems to be a potentially popular tourist and or vacation section. But you got some nice houses out here. You can definitely get your... uh 
land value's worth, I guess, for living out here. See a lot of giant houses out here in the middle in these, like, unpopulated areas compared to other parts just because property value is so low. You can make big giant houses pay less than you would if you lived, say, like, outside. No beach access. Private property. Can I get a sign? Anything. This is a pretty long body of water, and we've noticed already that there's a lot of reservoirs. But, oop, maybe this will tell me. No, we're just on a marker. God damn it. Anything. I don't even know what Idaho's, like, root signs look like. I mean, I'm guessing it's the number inside, like, the shape of the state, but not seeing anything. Come on. That's probably saying Bear Lake framing. Well, we're on Bear Lake then, huh? So we're down here? This was Bear Lake? It was. I've yet to see any... Unless we're on this road. East Shore Road. I need to see an intersection to know where we are. Need to see, like, a side road. Let's see, we got... St. Charles Cub Scouts. They adopted this highway. Again, don't know what that means. But if you feel like adopting a chunk of highway in the U.S., there's plenty of opportunity to do so. I mean, other than putting your name on there, I don't know if it's like a tax write-off or it's a... Uh, kind of like you just get a key to the city. Like an honorable mayor or whatever. You get an honorary degree, stuff like that. Although I think honorary degree actually has a bit of legitimacy to it, but don't quote me on that. Okay, we're St. Charles. Yeah, we were here. I ran out of time to click. We were north of Fishhaven. So even if we do super powerful on this one, it's still going to be an awful score. Farmland. These are not corn. I mean, th these aren't potatoes. I can't tell you what they are. We're near an intersection, but also 3,800 and 1,200. They're doing the number thing of just maybe they've run out of names and they're like, fuck it, just give it a number. It's a thing you see a lot in Utah. But that's a long chunk of alphabet away. Anything else? Oh, I haven't even babbled on about normal stuff with the channel again. As I've said before, and I'll continue saying thank you for watching. This is the GeoGuessr series that we do, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. If you have any uh, suggestions for maps or uh, nothing, I, this, hmm, I'm going to go this way. If you have suggestions for maps or even countries you want me to try, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I will look at them and get back to you and probably end up doing it. There is one such person who has been kind enough to give me a map, and I've been doing it on Fridays for a while now. If you have other game suggestions you'd like me to try, go ahead and put those in the comments down there as well. Interesting, they have no grass really. Just a weird trail with a bunch of wagons on it. Um, how was your weekend? It was a very quick weekend. I mean, I'm recording this on a Sunday, so I still have a bit of today to do where I'm going to go actually learn and play my first ever game of Catan. I'm sure I'm going to do terribly, but you know, you got to learn. These are some nice houses out here. Very well manicured and or maintained. Former farmland that either decided, hey, I can make more money selling this, or I don't want to farm this anymore. It doesn't make enough money, stuff like that. Ooh, we may... Nope, just says Times News. So it doesn't help me. I got a minute and this has told me so much of nothing. Although this is a nice road, I'm going to stay on this road, and we basically are about to do an entire circle. But I feel that staying on the nicer road, well, nicer as in paved with actual stripage on it and whatnot, may actually get me more information than those kind of side roads I was just on. See, like, this doesn't have the markings on it. Compared to this, I feel like I'm a, I got a better chance of getting information on this one than those side roads. Um, plans for this week, 
since I'm going to be doing that later today, um, my time's a little constrained today, but I might be able to do some of that extra videos this week. If not, I can also do it tomorrow. We've got Balanced Rock. I feel like that's a Oregon Trail thing I've heard of. Nice, nice name. We got Dick Shooter, Idaho. You know, now I need to go to Idaho. <laughs> Just so I can see Dick Shooter. So I'm going to go 30 seconds. Can I get an intersection, a road? Okay, this may help me. Can I get? Okay, I can. 25 seconds. We've got... Oh, shit. That doesn't help me. Man. Idaho, you are a mystery to me. Buell Filter Twin Falls. Okay. Twin Falls. So we're like here, I'm going to say. Buell Filter Twin Falls. Let's find Buell. Okay, I was a little off. There's Buell. I don't care. Near Castleford. Actually, we were very close to Dick Shooter. And, like, Dick Shooter has one tiny road. It's just Dick Shooter Lake. Oh, there's no name for it. That sucks. What else sucks is never actually putting a Mac marker down for one of these and barely almost getting half my points. But that's going to do it for us here on GeoGuessr for this Monday. As I said before earlier, thank you all for watching. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, suggestions for maps, countries, games, anything at all, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I will look at them and get back to you. The kickoff to your week has started. You're going to do it. The week's just, the year's just started. We're all here for each other. You go ahead and uh, keep fighting the good fight. We'll meet up here again on Wednesday at least, if not tomorrow. For some more GeoGuessr. Either way, thank you all for watching. I will see you soon. Toodle-dee-doo.